Hello viewers, welcome to Khalajan's Kitchen. I'm Farhanda and today I'm making peach melba which is a simple and refreshing summer dessert. Peaches are cooked in vanilla syrup and served with raspberry sauce over vanilla ice cream. The story is that it was created by famous chef Escoffier for an opera singer Dame Nellie Melba and he named the dessert after her. To make this dessert, I'm using four ripe peaches, but they should be slightly firm. We will need one and a half cups of water, three quarter cups of sugar, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. To make the raspberry sauce, we need two cups of fresh raspberries, two tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Besides these, we will need 2 to 3 cups of vanilla ice cream. We are going to start by cutting washed peaches in half. And since these are free stone peaches, all we have to do is twist them around a little bit and they will separate. The other half will be left with the stone. These stones then can be removed very easily. We just have to use the tip of the knife and they will come out. I placed a pot on medium high heat, added water, sugar and the vanilla extract. If you are using vanilla bean, you will add this at this time. We will let it cook for a little bit until it starts simmering and then we will add the lemon juice. Once the sugar is completely dissolved in the water, then we are going to add the peaches. We are going to place the peaches skin side down first. I miscalculated and used a smaller pot and the peaches are all stuffed in it and they may not cook properly so I'm going to change the pot to a bigger one. Once the syrup starts to simmer, we are going to cover the pot and let it cook for at least 2 to 3 minutes. The peaches have been cooking in the syrup for about 3 minutes so now it's time to flip them over. By flipping them over they will cook from the other side as well. At this stage we will cook them for about half a minute or more and as you can see the peel is already coming off. I checked the doneness with a knife and they are almost done. So instead of cooking them anymore I'm just going to shut the heat off, cover it and let them finish cooking in the residual heat. To make the raspberry sauce place the raspberries in a pot, add the sugar and the lemon juice. The sauce has been cooking for 3 minutes and now we are going to mash the raspberries. I am using the back of a spoon, you can use a potato masher if you wish. We will let the sauce cook for another 1-2 to two minutes until it comes to a boil and then shut the heat off and our sauce is ready. The peaches have been sitting in the syrup for a bit now and they are perfectly done. So now we are going to take them out and start peeling them. The skin has separated from the peaches and all we have to do is just pull it and it comes off easily. I am going to use the leftover syrup to poach some more peaches. But if you wish, you can strain it, add some ice and use it as a really refreshing drink or use it to flavor your iced tea. The raspberry sauce has cooled down and now we are going to strain it and that will get rid of all the annoying seeds and give us a very smooth and silky sauce. Our peaches and sauce are both ready and now we are going to cover them and leave them in the fridge until they have completely cooled down. To assemble the dessert all we have to do is place a scoop or two of ice cream in a dish, place the peaches on top and then pour some syrup on it. I am using some fresh raspberries to garnish it, you can use some roasted and slivered almonds. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and by pressing the bell icon button, you will get notifications for my upcoming videos. Enjoy!